Welcome to the last episode of Navin Android before Google I.O., your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this episode, we'll cover Android Studio Jellyfish, A-B testing power consumption with the new Power Profiler and the new Android X releases. Android Studio Jellyfish and Android Gradle plugin 8.4 is now available in the stable channel. This version of Android Studio brings many new features such as Gemini as your coding companion for Android development, access real devices with device streaming, app quality insight support for ANRs, custom data and multi-bands, new colorblind checks using the UI check mode from Compose Preview, redirect audio from connected physical devices to your computer using device mirroring, automatic baseline profiles compilation when installing your release app locally and when using low overhead profiling, behavior changes coming with Android Gradle plugin 8.4 and new sign-in flow that enables many Google developer services all directly from the IDE. Check out the release page to learn more and download the latest version. Mayank and Yasser published an article on how to effectively A-B test power consumption for Android apps. Android Studio's new Power Profiler visualizes the app's power usage as it runs, empowering you to identify and address the power consumption issues. You can easily run A-B tests to compare the power consumption of different algorithms, features, or even different versions of the app. With Google I.O. approaching, we have a bunch of interesting updates in Android Jetpack. With Activity 1.9, Component Activity now implements on User Leave Hint Provider to allow components to implement callbacks for on User Leave Hint events. This version of Activity raises warnings on API usages that can break predictive back animations. Plus, remainder of the Activity APIs have been rewritten in Kotlin and all extensions previously available in Activity KTX. Datastore 1.1 now supports multiple processes accessing the same file with support for observability across processes. The new storage interface allows you to customize how to store or serialize your data models. This release also comes with support to use Datastore in Kotlin multi-platform projects. Room 2.7 Alpha 1 is just released. This release comes with support to use Room in Kotlin multi-platform projects. Compose Material 3 Common Version 1.0 Alpha 1 brings new teamless components that can be used to build material design components. WebKit Version 1.12 Alpha 1 adds a new API to enable web authentication in WebView. Media 3 Version 1.4 Alpha 1 includes changes, new features, and bug fixes to many APIs and ExoPlayer. Make sure to check out the Android X release notes to learn more. That's it for this week with Android Studio Jellyfish, A-B testing power consumption with the new Power Profiler and the new Android X releases. Make sure to stay tuned for Google I.O. and check back soon for your next update from the Android developer universe.